can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm going to test out 30 lip products all in one filming session, and we'll see how my lips do with this. But I've never done a video like this before, and I've bought so many lip products recently. I can't tell you. There have been a lot on sale for different sales going on this time of year, and they're products I've wanted to try for a long time. Some of them are on the pricier end, and I was very curious, are these worth the price? And then some are super affordable. So I thought it would be fun just to try them on my lips, let you see how they look, and then you can decide for yourself whether you think they're worth it or not. The first one is from this brand, Shiksona. I had never heard of it before. It's a clean brand, and look at how beautiful on the lips. I love the way it feels. I'm going to put a little more on so you can actually see me apply it like I will the others. But look at how this glides on. Just beautiful. It's very thin, not thick at all. I think you get a lot of pigment from it. They have two products. They have the lip gloss and lipstick. That's all they sell in this brand. But take a look at our first one. I think it's beautiful. I definitely would repurchase. I love the feel on my lips. It's so lightweight. I don't feel it at all. It's not sticky and it feels very moisturizing. I'm going to be wiping my lips with these towels I've been talking about that I love so much. I won't show every time I wipe them, but my husband said to me this morning, you're going to try 30 lip products on your lips. He's like, Good luck with that. <laughs> but I think we're good to go. I'll try to get off as much as I can without having to do coconut oil every time between each one. But I think I got most of it off. I wanted to say lip products can look very different too depending on your natural shade of your lips. My lips are very uh, mauve purpley. So you can see how mauve my lips are. Some people have very cherry lips. I love cherry lips so much. Now this is 422. I've always wondered what's the hype about this Dior. So I definitely see the hype is the packaging. For one thing, it is beautiful. You can't deny that. It's almost like a piece of jewelry. Now this is their Dior Addict and this is the shade Rose. So this is sort of, to me, like the L'Oreal. Um, they have a whole line of uh, paradise stuff that's really lightweight. Feels a lot like a balm. Look at how it glides on the lips. Beautiful. Hmm. I can see why people like it. Very lightweight. Feels nice on the lips, very moisturizing. I would say it wouldn't last long on the lips. It would be something that would need to be reapplied. But I love the shade Rose. It's really beautiful. And for a splurge, I think this would be great. But it is very pricey. And I would think the L'Oreal that I'm talking about, I'll show that at another time, would be a great replacement for this. This caught my attention. It's getting a lot of hype on Sephora. It's from Mara. I've never tried anything from that brand before. And it's a soft coral shade and it's called their Sea Silk Lip Balm. So I'm just going to apply this with my ring finger. It's a metal squeezy tube. Pretty color, very coral. I wonder how it will look on the lips. Definitely getting some pigment from it. Feels very moisturizing. It says it's vegan, cruelty free. So I think that's great. And made in the USA. And they say, please recycle on it. But let's take a look. I think it looks really nice and very lightweight comfortable on my lips. There's definitely an oiliness to it. So you do feel it on the lips for sure, but it is very lightweight and comfortable in my opinion. 
Let's try out some affordable lip products. This is from Catrice. It's their tinted lip oil called Gloss and Glow. I thought the packaging was really nice and it's very lightweight. It is plastic and you have this huge doe foot applicator. It really doesn't look like there's a ton of product in here, but let's try it out. has a slight scent to it. Hmm. On my lips, to me, it looks very clear. The shade is Glossip Girl. Let's put it on the hand. Yeah, there's virtually no color from this. So it says it's a color changing lip oil. So I do see a little pink coming out. It is getting pinker now. I like that. Very shiny. I actually really ended up liking this. I do feel it on my lips. So if you don't like the feel of noticing something on your lips, I don't think you'd like this. Now it is vegan also, and I like that it's color changing. It is deepening up now that I have it on, so it's not clear. It definitely changes colors. NYX has out a new gloss with a swirl in it. This is part of their Butter Gloss line. Let's try this out. You know, these swirl glosses were really big this year. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see what shade it is. It's hard to find the shade sometimes on these. Uh, sweet Slushy. Hmm. I really like the shade. This is a way to sort of brighten up without it looking too heavy. I can't really wear uh, bright lipsticks that much anymore. They make my lips look just sort of older and saggier, but this looks pretty nice. The struggle is real. I'm trying to get every bit of this off. Some of these actually stain your lips. I think the Catrice actually, the one that was color changing, stained my lips a little bit. So I may end up having to go over them with concealer. This is from Summer Fridays. When I asked a lady at Sephora that worked there, I said, what is one of your top selling lip products? She says, oh, let me show you this. And it was this one here. And this is vegan on the pricier side for sure. But it's a lip butter balm. And this is in vanilla beige, which seems to be one of their best selling shades. It's a squeezy tube. So it's just coming right up through the top. And this is very nude. I have tried this one. I really liked it. So depending on the shade of your lips, it's going to look uh, maybe different than mine. So it's got the nude to it, but a real nice shine. And of course, my lips are a little bit stained from that Catrice, but I think it's really pretty. I like it for every day. I noticed that the receptionist at our school had it sitting next to her computer. So a lot of people are enjoying it. This was interesting from Laura Geller. It's called Prep and Go Lip Scrub tint duo. So on one side you have a lip scrub. So let me just go over my lips. That'll get off some of the stuff I've been using. This feels a lot to me like the e.l.f. one, the e.l.f. lip scrub. And then on the other side is a lip gloss. Let's try that out. Ooh, it's um, very peachy. A uh, nude kind of a shade. I like the applicator too. It's thin. Some of these really big applicators I find to be very awkward. But there's your shade. And I think it looks nice on the lips. Very lightweight. While we're talking about lightweight, I thought I'd try the gloss from Dior. This is again an iconic product that so many people talk about over and over. Definitely the packaging pulls a lot of people in. 
but I tried this out and I just didn't feel it was worth the price tag, but I'll let you decide and let me know in the comments what you think. This shade here is 001 and that's all it says. It doesn't say a name. This is their lip maximizer, so this is supposed to make your lips look super full. Let's see if it does anything for mine. I definitely smell the peppermint. I have to say it does feel wonderful on the lips. It's not heavy and it has an iridescence to it, a lot like City Lips, where it just, from angles, I think it would make the lips look plumper and it has so much shine. So it's not that I don't love this. I do think it's wonderful. It looks beautiful. Uh, it's just, are you willing to pay that amount for a gloss? I don't think it's that long lasting, but it is beautiful on the lips. Now I thought of trying this on top of a lipstick. This is called, it's the LA Girl Shade Shifter Lip Gloss in the shade Pixie. So I thought since I just had on the Dior and you could see how sort of shiny it is, I would try this next. It looks almost like a unicorn when you see it in the packaging. But let's see, I wouldn't normally wear this alone. I would think of putting this on top of a lipstick, just my personal preference, but let's try it out. Wow, <laughs> much more than I thought. Holy cow. Wow, it's got a very purpley look to it. Hmm, well, this wouldn't be an everyday look for me, but it is very um, luxe looking, I guess, and very shimmery. I still would like to see how this looks on top of a lipstick. Let's try out another shade, too, that I bought to put on top of other lipstick. This is called Champagne on Ice. And it's from Revlon. It's number 205. My bestie loves a shade like this in MAC. It's called Gel. And I was thinking, I wonder if this would be a dupe for it. So I'm going to buy Gel and compare the two because I know how much she loves that one. But let's try out Champagne Ice. I think I still have some of that. That does not want to go. That unicorn is hanging around. Yeah, she likes this kind of shade. Now, I don't typically wear a shade like this. There's nothing wrong with that alone. I love this as a topper on top of more of a matte lipstick instead of gloss, but let's take a look. I think it's really pretty. I know some people don't like this much shine, but I love this as a topper. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll try this on top of another lipstick. I'll put this aside and let's try this one. This is brand new, Polite Society. This is a new brand and it's called B period I period G period mouth lip plumping oil gloss. So you got lip plumping, you got an oil gloss all in one. I'm going to wipe this off and let's give it a go. This brand I found at Ulta. I bought the foundation. I really did like that. So I went back and bought some other products to try out and share with you. So let's see how it looks here. It just looks very clear to me. I don't see much color. This is my first time trying it. In the tube, it looks like very nude, like a peachy nude. Hmm. Has an interesting smell. I'm not sure what it is, if it's more, oh, whoo, this has got cinnamon in it. Oh, I am not a fan of cinnamon and gloss right now. My lips are like they're on fire. I'm actually going to wipe this right off. Oh. I hate cinnamon in these glosses. It's like my lips are on fire now. It's even on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I'll never use this again. I'm going to have to either return it or just take a loss on this because this is not for me. I do not like the cinnamon. I do like peppermint 
And I know a lot of people don't like that either, but this cinnamon where you just feel instantly like your lips are on fire is just not something I'm interested in at all. Well, let's try one that's so affordable. This is the Electric Glow Color Changing Gloss, and it says also a cheek oil. So this looks a lot like the Euphoria that I tried. I believe that's the name. And this is from Essence. I'm just going to clean my lips a little bit with this Tree Hut Lip Scrub. I want to get some of the color off before I put that on so you can really see what it looks like. I've got this many more to go. Oh my gosh, I don't know if my lips are going to hold up. Okay. They are still on fire from that stuff. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, so let's try on the electric glow. It's got a weird color, doesn't it? Strange. Very thin. It's definitely a lip oil. I see the color changing right here in front of me. Hmm. I like the feel of it. Super lightweight. A lot lighter than some lip oils I've tried. I think this would be worth a go. It's so affordable and it's definitely changing color. I like the color that it is. My lips, I feel, make me look a little drab. My natural color so this sort of gives more life to my face. So I actually really love this and it's so affordable. This is from Oulac. This is a company that I found this year on Amazon. I love the packaging. This looks like a dupe for a very expensive brand. Now this one that I bought is Halo. And I bought this to put on top of other lipstick also. As you can tell, I like toppers. This just is supposed to have an iridescence to it. So let's try this out. Mm, I really like that. It's pretty. It glides on. Definitely has an iridescence to it. This could be a great topper for any lipstick you already have in your collection. Now let's try these out. This is from Amazon, and this is the actual Dior. I can't tell them apart when you look at them. They look the same. The only reason I know this is the Dior is because of the marking on the top. Otherwise, they both look the same. They both say Lip Glow Oil. They both say Color Reviver Cherry Oil. So let's try first the dupe from Amazon. Super affordable. And we'll see if we see any difference. Now, right away, I'm having a little difficulty coming out of the packaging on the dupe and or alternative. And let's see. Nice minty feel to it. Beautiful. I really like it. It is a little heavier than some of the oils we've tried on today, but um, not where it's annoying. So I'm going to take that off and let's try the actual Dior. This has gotten so much hype on social media. You just hear about these kind of products all the time. And I've always wondered, are they worth it? Because most of my life I've bought either drugstore lipstick or lipstick that goes on sale at the holidays in a kit that is a great value. So that's pretty much what I've done most of my life. I've never dipped my toe into Chanel or some of these higher brands. So I've always been curious. Came out of the packaging very easily. So that's something I do notice. They feel very much the same. I don't feel much of a difference between the Dior and the one from Amazon. Definitely a beautiful look. The only differences that I see are maybe how easily it came out of the packaging. And they mostly have to do with the packaging and the Dior logo. But otherwise, I really don't see much of a difference. Let's switch gears and go to a lipstick. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on. 
since my lips are getting a little stained. It's nice that these new products actually stain your lips because as they wear off, then you're not left with nothing. So I love that they stain. I just want to show you the best color matches that I can, the shades. So let's go in. I've never tried a Rare Beauty lipstick before, and I have tried many of her other products, and I love them. This is the shade Humble. And I do love the packaging, how you push on the bottom and it comes out. And this is a nude shade. I don't typically buy a lot of nudes, but I heard a lot of good things about this shade, that it's sort of a peachy nude. So I thought maybe it won't wash me out. So let's try it. Oh, wow. Immediately, I feel how it glides on the lips. If I'm going to wear a nude, I want something like this with a little peach or pink to it. Beautiful shade. Lovely on the lips. Very moisturizing, not heavy. So again, this is more than a drugstore price, but I think it's well worth it. It feels great. The packaging is very elegant, I think. It looks nice. It would be pretty in your purse. And I like that it pushes up. You don't have to worry about the lid falling off in your purse. So for me, I would have to say this one's a winner. Let's try out a drugstore lipstick. This shade's been out for a while from L'Oreal, a long while. It's called Bronze Coin but I had never tried it. It's number 835, and I thought for winter and fall, this might be a shade that some of you would be interested in. So let's give it a go. Definitely has that L'Oreal scent to it. I can smell it. That doesn't bother me. It's not one of my favorites, but it doesn't irritate me. But let's take a look at Bronze Coin. I think it's a beautiful shade, especially if you like something with some iridescence to it. And again, it's at a drugstore price. Let's try the Sephora Moisturizing Lip Balm. This is made in Italy, it says and it is eight hours of hydration. I was curious if there was any color to it. So let me swipe some on my hand. Not much. If I'm going to wear a lip balm, I like some color to it, so I don't think I'm gonna to be too happy with this. It feels really nice on the lips. But again, I have some from Vaseline. Uh, other brands that have so much color to them. This definitely has more of a mm, chapstick kind of feel. I'm not uh, really that thrilled with this. It's okay, but I wouldn't say to run out and buy it. I was very curious about this. This is from Nude Stick. I have purchased some things from them. I haven't talked about them much on my uh, in my videos, this is their Nude Screen Lip Primer with an SPF of 30. It says green algae, it's non-nano zinc, reef safe. Um, so let's see how this looks. Now, I didn't expect much from this, but when I tested it out, I have tried this one. Look at all the color that it has. So it really surprised me in a good way because again, I'm looking for some color. I'm going to just apply it with my finger. Now it says lip primer, so you could wear this under lipstick, but the day I wore it, I wore it all by itself. This actually, the feel of it is one of my favorite that we've tried today. It's almost like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel oily. I do detect a slight scent, probably the sunscreen in it, but I think it looks really natural, nice. This would be perfect to wear any day, but definitely on a beach day, moisturizer, sunscreen, all in one. And I love that you can wear this under lipstick. That is perfect. Since you can wear this under lipstick, I'm going to pair it with this Milani Stay Put. 
Now, I tried this, I think, once and wasn't a fan because it made my lips look too dry. Uh, these kind of lip products, unless they have moisturizing ingredients, sometimes make them look dry. But let's try it on top of this. I think it's a beautiful shade. It's their Stay Put Liquid Lip Longwear Lipstick, and it's in the shade The Moment, 140. Now, I like it on top of the nude stick. Alone, not so much. I felt like it was very drying. Let me wipe this off my lips and show you without anything underneath so you can see what I mean. All right, so let's go ahead and try the Milani Stay Put. Now, again, I have put all these lipsticks and lip balms underneath my lips, so they're not like they normally would be. Um, they're sort of very hydrated, I think, at this point, so uh, you won't get the true effect, but maybe you can see a little bit better without anything underneath. Yeah, I definitely see a difference. Now, what I don't like about these kind of products on my mature lips is I can see all the lip lines. And as it's drying down, it's going to get worse. So I'm not a fan of this alone. But underneath that nude stick, I thought it was wonderful. Maybe even if I had put a more affordable product like a Vaseline uh, lip balm, some of the others I like, the Burt's Bees, underneath and then put this on top, it would work. But wearing it all by itself, what I found is during the day while I'm sipping coffee or water or anything I'm drinking, it starts wearing off very patchy. So this one, I think, is a go if you put something underneath. If you wear it alone, I say it's a no-go. This is from Rare Beauty. It's their balm. I've never tried this before, so I wanted to give it a go. And it is in the shade Nearly Apricot. Now, I have tried their lip oil. Outstanding. It was just gorgeous. But I hadn't tried this one. Mm, I love the feel of it. Very thin. Beautiful look to it. Let me swatch it on my hand so you can see it's very sheer. Like a balm. But I love the way it looks. It's very lightweight. This would be something I would love to just keep in my purse and wear every day. It has enough on it where I feel like it's not going to wear off quickly the thickness of it, yet it's thin enough to be super comfortable on the lips. So again, this is Rare Beauty Balm in the shade Nearly Apricot. By the way, all the shades and the links for everything are in the description of the video. So if I didn't mention a shade, you'll find it there. Let's take off the Rare Beauty and we're going to try out this. This is the Keep It Full, which I love Keep It Full from Milani, the gloss I've bought so many times. But this is the Max Plumping Lip Lacquer. This is a newer one. And I don't know if this has that cinnamon in it. I don't know. It says, warning, do not apply to broken or irritated skin. It can cause an allergic reaction. I don't know about this stuff. Let's, now, this is a deeper shade, and I normally wouldn't buy a shade this deep, but I thought if it's fairly sheer, I might want something that would show up more. So let's see. Wow, it does show up. Some of you, I'm sure, will be able to tolerate this but my lips are already starting to feel like they're on fire. I can't do any of these max kind of plumping things. If they say max, I'm just not going to buy them anymore because they do mean max. This is turning up quick, but let's take a look at it before I take it off. My lips literally feel like they are on fire. I'm getting this off. 
The worst, I have to say, though, was from polite society. That was rough. That definitely made me feel like my lips were on fire. Well, let's go to this one from Wet n Wild. I sort of waited to the end because this has a lot of sparkle in it, and then I feel like it's going to be sparkle in everything else that I put on. But we'll go ahead and put this on. This has been out a long time. This is, I think, their Zodiac collection, and... Uh, it's got a lot of sparkle to it. This again is a very deep shade, but I thought maybe it'll sheer out and look okay. Wow, that is a lot of shimmer. Well, I'm personally not a fan of this shade for me. I think it's a little dark when I was younger. I think I like these shades more on me. I think they're just a little overpowering for me, but that's my personal preference. I think on someone with a deeper skin tone, this would be beautiful. I think part of it is my skin tone being lighter. Um, I just don't like this shade on me anymore, but I like the formula of it. It feels very nice on the lips and it's super affordable. The shade, by the way, is Sagittarius. This is a brand I found on Amazon, and I finally took the plunge. It says Style Nada Plumping Lips. And so let's try this out. Just screw up from the bottom. It's just plastic packaging. Oh, I like that it has some color to it. It even covered some of that purple that I had on my lips. Oh, I love this. Beautiful. Very dewy. Reminds me a lot of the one from Tarte. Their uh, balms that they have. Let me show you the shade. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like this. This is the kind of product that I like to wear to work every day. Looks very moisturizing. I think it looks uh, makes my lips look very nice. It's not too much. It's sort of an understated look, a minimalist kind of look, but yet very attractive. So this one's one I'm looking forward to wearing. Another affordable one from Essence, their Heart Core. This is adorable. Look how it has the little heart right in the core of the lipstick. I think that's so cute. Let's try this out. I like these kind of products. You can keep them in your purse and just throw them on if your lips feel dry. And it says on it, it's got 10% sweet almond oil. Fruity lip balm. Yeah, it does smell very fruity. Almost like fruit stripe gum. Oh, nice. Look at how it glides on the lips beautifully. Oh, I love this one. Definitely something I would throw in my purse, in my makeup bag. I love it. This is a brand you see on Amazon, Focalore. I've tried a couple of their products before. I wanted to see if this had a real luxe look to it. And it's their Candy Castle shade. Let's see. This is, again, something I might use as a topper on top of a lipstick that I have. Wow. Now, the texture of this is very lightweight, sort of like a mousse. It definitely has glitter in it. So if you don't like glitter in your gloss, then stay away from this. I think it would be a pretty topper. My biggest concern is that glitter might get around my face, so you'd have to be really careful with it. I'm sort of on the fence with this. What do you think of these kind of products? Does the glitter bother you? I don't know about this. I do love the one from Almay, the goddess gloss that I talk so much about. Doesn't feel that moisturizing, so I don't know. I think I would pass on this one. I would definitely pass on this one. I see the glitter already getting up here. I'm glad I saved this as one of the last ones to try. Yes, I'm not a fan. I'd pass. I tried putting my lip balm on to get this glitter off. I cannot get the glitter off, so I definitely would not recommend that one from Focalore. I'd stay away from that. Well, we just have a couple more to try anyway. I'm going to show you uh, this one because I think it looks amazing. It's the Natrium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. And I've heard a lot about this too. I love the packaging. Look at how pretty that is. 
but let's try this out. I tried a different shade, but I haven't tried this one yet. So it has a nice texture to it. Wow. I was hoping it would be like a liquid black honey, and it looks like that's what it's going to be. Beautiful. This is in the shade Jam. This really is my jam. This is one of my all-time favorite shades to wear, especially in the fall. So this one, I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, for the grand finale, I thought, let's try this YSL lipstick that I got in a kit. They just have the shade marked NM on the bottom of it, and we'll try that Revlon on top that I promised you. I still cannot get off that sparkle. That sparkle from that Focalore will not come off. So excuse me, I'm going to have to do a little bit of concealer and try to get this stuff off. All right, so let's go ahead in with the YSL. Beautiful shade. I'm in love with it. The kit I bought was so worth it. It came with another amazing shade too. I have to say these YSL lipsticks, I know they're expensive, but they do go on like butter. <laughs> I am impressed with the lipstick. Now let's go ahead in with the Revlon. This is the shade 205 Champagne on Ice and we're just going to put it in the center of the lips. But before I do, let's take a look at the YSL. All right, let's go on top. Yes, I love that shade. Perfect topper. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'd love to have you here. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up. My lips have had it. I think we're done. Let me know in the comments which shade was your favorite. I love you all so much, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon.